message for me. Oh, sure did. Is everything good? Oh yeah, I'm still here. All right. I haven't given up on you. Today's an art class day. They were doing some work at the school, so the morning was closed, and I'm waiting to do my evening class. Hypocrite, Peter. This is First Peter. Now we want, we want something else. Three, four. Oh, dang it. I should have been ready for you. But anyways, these uh, we were playing with this yesterday. And, uh, hello. Come on. Oh, well, it'll just take a second. Once, we, once the computer's moving, my computer's Got this $900 computer a couple of years ago. It's supposed to be the best thing. Proved itself to me yet. All right, this is the end, Peter five, and then Second Peter, apostles of Jesus to obtain the like precious faith through the righteousness of God. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and Jesus Christ. This is where I wanted to come to. All right. Um, Second Peter's. All right. But there were false prophets also among the people. Even as there shall be false teachers among you. Who, privily, shall bring in damnable heresies. Even denying the Lord that God brought them and bring upon them swift destruction. And many shall follow uh, their, uh, what's this, uh, Pernesis ways, you know, by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. Two, this is, uh, this is usually the route. This is mother or the moon. This here is usually uh, the way in here, number two. Um, but um, the the way when they're saying that the way is evil, two is this in in our the second kingdom represents the moon, and this is what comes between us and God, and the moon and these in our Bible represents religion, and so. This uh, Persenius, these Persenius ways, this is some kind of like, you know, it's just they're, they're lies. Um, and through covetousness shall they with feigned words, or feigned, feigned means fake. I mean, uh, feigned, yeah, it just means that uh, it's, they're hollow. They're not, they're not truths either. Make merchandise of you whose judgment now of a long time lingered not, and their damnation slumbereth not. Three represents the physical side of us, the third kingdom, the physical side, and it's showing here because of, through covetousness shall they, this is that the, uh, that these people that are, come, that are taking advantage of you, they would, uh, you know, you know, promise you all kinds of things in order to you know to reap whatever it is they can from you yes and it shows here and whose judgments has not even happened yet you know and on four we get uh, for if god spared not the angels that sinned but cast them down to hell and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved until Judgment. This is the first world. These are this is the f the first four sentences or you know uh, scriptures here represents 
a uh, particular kind of um, of an of a of a, a, a instruction. And so, what we're showing here is that the the people they are pro false prophets and false prophets. If I can just go ahead and tell you that you know when you become a prophet of someone who's connected to God, because you're going to be telling God's word, all right? Or you're going to be telling, and and all these prophets are telling you that you're uh, that you're that you guys can't do nothing, you know, that you have no eyes to see these things, you can't hear them, and you have hardened hearts and can't understand them, and all this stuff, you know, all of these. Even Jesus is saying, you know, surely, truly. This, uh, this generation shall not pass away. That means no one in here is following the, wa the law uh, or following after Jesus. No one, you know, this is, you know, and we hear that the, the, the vow of the Nazarene is to remain unclean all this time, you know. So it's all about this idea that, uh, you know, we are without for a good long time. And while we're doing this without, we don't, th we ourselves, don't see us without. You know the God, even though the Bible tells us to go find him, to seek him out, seek God, to seek this kingdom inside of you first is what they say to do. But I think what you do and what we did and what my mom and dad and all these do and what people do is they go and find the the, uh, the particular religion or church that they would like to go to. So this is where they're seeking it out trying to find the right church. And then when that pisses them off, they'll go to another church. And when that one pisses them off, or when they move, they gotta go to another place. So, because the uh, church is considered the body of Christ on the outside, whereas, you know, basically, you know, it's just the way that the reading thinks literally, you are the body of Christ. You house this, uh, this Christ inside of you. And all these stories keep telling us that. And, but what happens is, is Christ winds up in the stories, winds up, you know, they want to kill him and to, uh, to put him away. And he goes into the father's house. So this is this idea that I'm going to prepare the way. We just spoke about this yesterday, but, uh, um, but we are being blocked, locked down on earth, in earth, you know, with the fallen angels. And so uh, these become like your false teachers, and these are your preachers. These are the men that we go to to come for comfort, and it's crazy, you know, that uh, they say that we become lovers of men um, because uh, because womankind is where we're supposed to go to get our uh, our child, at least in these in these spiritual stories, are supposed to seek mother. And, and suckle from her titties and stuff like that, you know. So it's supposed to be a comforting thing for our child to finally come to the hands, to the bosom of mother. And that uh, everyone kind of rejoices of this, oh, we've, we've, we've lost you. We had you were gone all this time. But uh, he says, no, I was out doing this and that, you know, the prodigal son, you know, and whored himself out for, you know, and, he found himself, you know, uh, come climbing back home again, you know, and his father's rejoicing, glad to have you home because he wasn't lost. The other brother says, you know, how can we give him such a hell of a thing, give, give him having such a good time? I said, I, I've never left. I've always been here. And that's what the father says. He says, yeah, well, you never, you never got lost. That's beautiful. That's great. He did, you know. And now we're welcoming him back. So he did not God for God, if God spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved until judgment. So this is, you know, people, the God's, God's children, his, his, the, uh, our souls, which are belong to God, all right. They don't flat. They don't have any flesh or anything like that. It's an electrical energy, and they are seeds. God calls them seeds because he's a he's a husband's man, right? And so he's 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 a farmer, fixing everything up, planting seeds in earth. And so you know, and he says, you know, hey, you know, uh, 
I brought you out of Egypt and you complained. So I'm going to give your land to someone else. And all the other time, I want you to go over here. You're going to go and uh, you're going to slave for your elder. So that's what happens to these. The younger always slaves for the older or serves the older. So, you know, he's inside of us, our soul, our soul, little Jesus. Is making the way as we are following the path of the word, going with Father and the whore. Simple as that. And so this is what they mean by being chained because we, we can't get out of this this situation that we're in. We it shows in our Bible that we made this choice way before um, uh, the confines of our Bible, of our body was made. That, you know, before earth, before earth and all this before time. That uh, if we wish to uh, have this world around us, the outside world around us, then we have to give up our child to do this. Our kid, because um, while we're in this situation, we can't, we're not going to give birth to it anyways. We're, we're running around with another male. We're acting like a, a bunch of homos. You know, and we're also creating of ourselves. We're raising ourselves. We're letting the word say, you know, hey, you got Jesus in you. Then that's all you need. Oh, great. Then I got Jesus in me. All right. Well, then you just, you know, you just raised yourself. All right. And so, you know, you say, oh, man, you know, I got the Holy Ghost in me because it says you got the Holy Ghost in you. Oh, my God. Check it out. I got the, I'm under the grace of God. Check it out. Oh, well, you did that again. You let the word and the preachers, you know, and this 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 foreign, this strange woman into your world. She's filling you up with all kinds of garbage, you know, which comes right out the yin yang later on. Plus, she's a sorceress of some kind. And she thinks she can bring some kind of Jesus or stuff into food and to drink and to give it to you put it in you, that she can put it in you. She will bring this to you. The religion, yeah. She'll be our comforter. And we'll go to these guys and they'll take care of us. They'll take care of all our troubles and and, 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 and forgive us of all our sins and, and baptize us with fire and, and water and, and anoint our heads with oil and we'll be just perfect, just, just perfect. Well, this is what Jesus says that I don't want you to make yourselves into silver idols or gold idols. I would rather you just be plain old lump of dirt. I'd rather you be something natural instead of all of these things. Don't come to me like this. I'm not going to accept you. You're too big. You're too strong. Your ego just can't fit in here. And you've still got your shoes on. You know, so this is what it means is that don't make yourselves into idols. Don't not to make idols. We, and that's the same thing you do. You know, you got yourselves, you know, uh, all these, you know, all these people and all these to, 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 to praise the. Uh, you got a dead Christ for Christ's sakes that you're using as an idol, a dead Christ. For Christ's sake, we want Christ to be alive in us. But what we celebrate in, and what we worship is the death in us, the dead Christ in us. Because we don't have him. We're waiting for him. He's not coming yet. He's still in the, he's, we're still waiting for him and mother. They will give us the increase. When we finally find them, that's increases. God increases us we don't increase ourselves this is what you think this idea you want me to get double talk this idea that because i meditate and bring god on myself and i have to go on through and and do god's commands by honoring mother father by doing what i was commanded to do was to sit still and invite them into my life and so i do this they picked me out of the crowd. 
because if they didn't want me, I wouldn't have any of this knowledge. Uh, they picked me out. They're the ones that increased my knowledge here. But they met me halfway. I initiated this in Jesus, I see Jesus in the air, in third phase, the third, con uh, third stage of consciousness, theta, in the air. That's, that's the third stage of consciousness, right? How those four things work, work, earth, water, air, and fire. Beta conscious. This here is alpha conscious. This is theta conscious. And this is delta conscious. Yes. And then mother and father. I mean, uh, these, these two on the end. You, Jesus, the Lamb of God. And mother, the Holy Ghost. Set fire to earth. Set fire to the lower mind and purify it. That's what they're talking about. And there's the end of times. That's how it works. Right? Here's this idea. Here now, number seven. Now, they delivered Lot. Six. We didn't go into these other ones down here, but it says, um, uh, the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. This is the same idea. This is the first two. Sodom is where we get our minds. And Gomorrah is where we're doing it. It's giving us the energy. These two things are always what is destroyed. Which is our skin. And the place of where we do it. You know. What gives us the strength. And so you know our skin. Is father. And the mother. Or the, the moon. Is always that second bastard. That, or the second uh, beast that gets destroyed. He says here, number seven, it's just funny because I was just listening. Um, um, effects, it means it's just very, it's complicated. And so the idea that uh, on number seven down here, which is the Lord's day, Lot, actually in the story, becomes the gatekeeper. He's the one, the gate, he's, he's, he's one, up, he's the gatekeeper. He winds up being in, uh, the sixth chakra and these stories here, you know, before we get to Peter, we get Lot, you know, and um, he's he's the one who goes into these small places, you know, and, and, and what we're talking about here is the conversation, the filthy conversation of the wicked. All right, well, this is before I ever got into more of the spiritual side of things. When I started hearing this, it was like, what? Uh, he was raped by his two daughters. He was drunk off wine by them. And his wife, before they even got into this place, turned around and was turned into a pillar of salt. All right, so this becomes an interesting situation where, these, where the outside world looks and says, well, they were feared that there was nobody else to populate the world, that we're going to have to get into our, pop, our father and fix this, our problem. But in reality, what it is, is that salt is a risk restoring situation, a preservative. And so, and his wife, his wife is, the, is a positive situation. So his, his spirit was restored in the symbol story, symbolic story. Um, he was then taken over by these two girls, these little his daughters, which they represent the uh, designs, and that they he was now they were close. This was this is a situation where you know just like with Noah being found naked under the tent, this is the same kind of situation, but they're inside of a cage, you know. Um, but uh, uh, he was drunk off the new wine. And his brothers came in and were kind of embarrassed about this thing. They were trying to take it back. That's that idea of we are, the, that the robber bearers or the skin was wanting to come back. They don't want to see this. They didn't want, we don't want our father changed and naked. We don't, this is crazy and he's drunk. And so this puts the, 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 uh, the straight mind into this mode of, of, of debauchery. But in reality, they're drunk off of the new wine. 
they've just received mother. They've just received the Holy Ghost. And all of these people in these situations are always told, oh, they are drunk. Even with the Tower of Babel and all of this business. No, they are drunk. No, no, no. They just have, uh, they had just caught on things. It's like with me. When I'm telling you this going on, you know, I know for a good long time I hear people write, you don't make any sense. There's nothing, I can't understand the thing that you're saying. So can you understand that that's the idea of, of mixing up their language? And so in, in their language, what they're talking about is when we were all one language, when we were all one language, that's when both sides of the brain were connected together. He says, they used to be all, look, we, they, they're all one language and this is what they do, you know. Let's go down there and fix this. We're going to divide this up. We're going to screw them up so that no one will be able to understand each other. And so with this, this is that same idea of God coming in and taking out our firstborn. And so without our message, messenger to God, we're all on our own and it can be in our own. And, and we make up everything from that point on. And because of this creation, creating this business in our mind by taking it literally and, 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 and trying to duplicate what we see is the trespass against us, our walk. We have to follow, walk, we're walking. That's why it's a snare. That's why these things are made to, to catch us and to, to snare us and to hold us tight, you know? Get you into a position of that, you know, where you, you don't even believe in God anymore, you know? So it shows that, you know, we're, we're all going to go through these troubles and stuff. But if you don't play the game, then you can't win. All right? I'll chat with you later. Hope you got something out of this. All right? Oh, I was saying this. I'm always mixing, not mixing up, but not finishing this. Our soul is important. When our soul came to life in our child, in our body, when our soul came and joined us, it's so that we could live. And it came into us into a place where 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 we locked it up. And we believe we're having a great time with it. And we got soulmates and this and that, and our soul does this and our soul does that, but no, our soul is just watching us. Do whatever we think because we don't have the knowledge of God that we have this thing locked up inside of us like a grave and we're considered murderers by God. He wants us to let our people go, his people go. You idiots. That's what he's saying. My people are literate, those stupid motherfuckers. You know, if they could get on with what I'm talking about. They would let my kid go and they would receive such a beautiful thing if they would just let him go. But look, no one wants to go and be justified. Nobody wants to be made even. And the whole interior works of us has been made evil. And no one wants to go in there. This question, I don't know. I can't help it. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm lost. You're in the dark. You're pinned in the darkness until that day of judgment, until you can pull yourself out of it. So the soul is important. The soul is everything. That's what heaven and earth were made for. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will not pass away. The word is our soul. And, and it's that soul that goes for this walk with us. You know, walking with Jesus, walking with Jesus along the way. We just don't realize that they're taking us in a different direction. That it was teaching us how to fear God. But that's the first phase is that we are actually the devourers of our child. And our murderers, the mother, even. So, and, and killers 
of ourselves by taking this route kills us spiritually. But with the word at hand, we don't see any of this at all. We believe that our soul is free to do as it wants. We believe that we are full of the Spirit and that God and Jesus all walk with us now by the word. He says that all we got to do is believe in them and be with them. We believe this, and so we believe we increase ourselves by the word. And that is increasing from the outside, and that's a sin. The only person that can save us or forgive us of our sins is God, not Lucifer. Do you understand? Lucifer, he's your father. He is the one who sets us free. He's the one who says, okay, go sit down over there. I've had enough of you. It's about time that you're birthed out of hell and move on. Father does this. Father is the one who knows when your last day is. You. And I'm a helper telling you this. I'm a helper. I'm one of the helpers. And I'm telling you this is what we do to overcome Father. And introduce them to mom, couple them together, and everybody's happy from there. God does this. Our soul again now, if we want this world, if we want to be a part of God's world, we have to give up the we have to give up our seed again. Except this time it's more in a positive motion where we when we meditate and we as we are uh, traveling through the valley of the shadow of death, that we fear no evil at all because Father has been put to sleep and this traipse through the woods is to go and find Mom and correct things. And when we correct things, He doesn't throw fire at us and blow us up and hurt us or harm us. Not one hair on our head is changed in any way whatsoever. It's a beautiful changeover from the way you used to think into something more beautiful. And it can never be taken away from you. The lower mind is gone now. You've separated from it and it's gone. You're no longer a sinner. And the only thing that sinned was you running around acting a fool like you got God in you and all along all you had was Satan that is blasphemous that sin and enjoy yourself while you're eating food dressing clothes making up and having a great time enjoying rock stars and movies and all these things that the lower mind just loves to be entertained with, you know, and wants and craves and needs. This pit wants to be filled with everything. That's part of our works. That's part of the works. One day, one day you'll be pulled out of that too. All right. But they're only, it's only a sin while you ain't got no mama. And so, uh, once you get her, they say, don't you sin no more. That means that you will not lose mother. It doesn't mean that you're, you know, what are you going to do? What do you consider a sin? What do you consider a real sin? Smoking cigarettes? Well, I gave up mine, my, my, my cigarettes. I gave them up cold turkey a couple of years ago. And they're gone. It was easy. So maybe we got, I got some help from that, you know, drinking. You know, I'm allowed to drink. I can have a drink or so here and there, but I don't go out and get drunk anymore. I think that's great. These are things that are just things that come against you or hurt you in some way are taken away from you. And so you leave a live a better life. And you've taken from the from a spiritually dead person into a spiritually live in Christ. It's kind of cool. You know. So uh it doesn't bother me whether or not uh you know people think that that's kind of uh, you know, something to make fun of. 
I really believe in our Bible. I believe in its message. And I'm, I, I just, I absolutely am just uh, uh, flabbergasted to be a part of his elect group. You know, I really am. And I would love to have more of you people come and join me and help me. All right. And help God. Help out this planet. Bring some light into this dark place. Loosen those chains. Set yourself free. I'll see you later. I love you.